Hello everyone and welcome to my Blender tutorial. My name is Brayden. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create vertex groups in Blender. Um, it's going to be a really fast and easy tutorial, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So what you'll do, um, just with a new fresh scene that I'm using here, I'm just going to go tab into edit mode and then actually let's turn on screencast keys. There you go. Okay. So tab into edit mode and then hit W subdivide and do that a few times. I just doing it twice to show you guys here. And then if I just um go like this, I can just select that, B to box select and then just slide it across your selection. Select that right there and then if I go into the object of data panel, it's the one with the vert vertices right here. Um under vertex groups, just hit the plus sign and then let's say name this ver that. Vertex group one, and then click assign. Okay, and now if we tap out of edit mode and then go back in, nothing selected. You'll see. And if I hit select, you'll see it selects that vertex group, and I then I can deselect it. That just shows what we did. Um, select into the vertex group. So you, know, you can't really tell that anything's happening right now. So. So you can actually see it's working. Go into the particle system. This is just an example I'm using. Um, it's actually you can use it for a lot of different things other than vertex or other than particle systems. Anyway, so add a particle system and change it to hair, and you'll see it's coming out of everywhere, absolutely everywhere. So I'm not going to make it look good or anything. I'm just going to show you under vertex groups. If I check density, um, change it to vertex group, it'll go like that. Now, I don't know if that's a bug in Blender. When I was testing, this happened too. I'm not sure. Uh, if I change it to. Uh, oh, where, uh, where was it? I gotta find it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't like having to find stuff during the tutorial. Well, there we go. Is that it? Nope, it's not. Oh, I didn't check advance. Okay, that's why. Okay, so, oops. So, where it says emit from, if you change it to vertices, it will come out of those vertices. So, to show you that it is working, um, I think, I'm not sure, it may have something to do with the amount that we actually have. I don't know if that has to do anything with it at all, but... Let's put that boy on top. And huh? Nope. Well, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Actually, I think it may be a bug in Blender because it sh it shouldn't actually have to do that. It should just emit from your where you've told it to emit from with your vertex group. So, um, that's it really for this tutorial. I know not much to it, but I thought I like to cover that in this tutorial because um, it's something you you need to know in order to get good with Blender and it just helps um, it just it's just a good thing to know that's really all there is to it so I hope you like this tutorial um, if you did like it click the like button if you want to see more videos from me just, just hit subscribe and they'll be sent to you um, so if you don't like it, please post in the comments why you don't like it, so that way I know what I'm doing wrong. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.